I just want to say in this dark darkness right now, even though it doesn't look that dark outside, uh, the camera doesn't pick it up so well. Um, since I've been um, reducing the amount of food I eat, my heart has been feeling better. And I don't think my heart was struggling directly so much as my liver, because my liver feels like relieved too. It's like, it used to get like little pains, little sharp pains, and I think maybe that was gallbladder, but I mean, they're the same. They're really intertwined, the gallbladder and liver. And they would get this, like, just a feeling of, of uh, a lot of pressure pain in my liver area, and that's relieved. It was relieved on the first day of starving myself, pretty much. I had a little breakfast that first day and then just didn't eat set the lunch or supper and then I had breakfast the next day just a little bit a few bites and then lunch and supper trying to keep along with eating more in the morning and uh yeah my liver felt a lot more relieved I haven't experienced any pains in the region for ever since um, so it's pretty nice. Now, that's great, but, I mean, it doesn't, it's still, uh, starving isn't exactly the best solution, all right, because I'm impressed with this. There was a big study that was done, uh, that concluded that people who, uh, under ate and people who over ate pretty much died, uh, simil similarly. They didn't, no, the no, the the people who under ate did not live any longer than people who 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 ate. Maybe, maybe overeaters put themselves at greater risk. Actually, I'm not sure. So there's there's no significant um, health benefits with under eating, um, but maybe maybe I am just eating normal. Maybe I was overeating too much, because I, I do feel a lot more relief in my guts. Uh, just just everything the only problem with starving is that that agony that pain and I try to it, it Reinterpret the pain in my gut from starving into a need for digesting uh, Information more so I, I need to watch things read things um, take in a digest other things besides food and it seems to be helping a little bit trying to change my mind frame that that hunger when they when they say you got to have a hunger to make money and stuff well you could definitely bring that out by reducing the amount of food you eat when you feel that hunger you get desperate and you want to do more okay it's just a a natural response that i was i was uh uh satisfying for for many years <laughs> it's uh something that I didn't like at all. I always wanted to stay well above the hunger line, but now that I, I, I'm really in such a dire strait with my finances, I I just have to cut that back and live only on the food stamps, what they offer on a week, on a monthly basis of 180 or something, which is supposed to be going down anyway, so I have to see how that, where that leads me. But that feeling of hunger, if you really uh, feel not motivated just lazy that hunger feeling helps but you really it's not it's not something you could just get into all right if you got a million dollars it's not easy to just stop eating and, and start developing that that hunger that need you get you get comfortable a lot of people get comfortable i got i got too comfortable and now i'm realizing um with uh my money the way it is you uh, I need to to do more. Um, that's that was that's a that's an eye opener. That's it's one of the eye openers. Losing this car is going to be a serious eye opener. Already uh, suffering more bouts of hunger is an eye opener, and then the next step is a shelter, food shelter. I think that's taking away the basics. Really can wake you up. Um, what can I do though? I mean, I'm only. I still am just me, and I still only have so many hours in the day, <laughs> but uh, I have to see.